Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by Recorded Future, delivering advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries before they disrupt you. My name is Ben Yellen, and I'm the Program Director for Public Policy and External Affairs at the University of Maryland Center for Health and Homeland Security. I grew up uh, as a bit of a political junkie. My parents are pretty political, and so I always had an eye on policy issues. Um, And then, you know, my formative years, there were a lot of uh, very significant life-defining political developments, the disputed 2000 election, 9-11, the Iraq War. And, you know, I think that helped develop my interest in politics and and, and in public policy. I originally thought I wanted to be a politician. um, And then I realized that uh, not only did I not have adequate political skills, but I just could not put myself through that ringer. Um, So I decided that I had more of an interest in public policy. And so I went to law school uh, at the University of Maryland and graduated in 2013. I became aware of the University of Maryland Center for Health and Homeland Security when I was a law student. I was an extern there. Coincidentally, just around the time I graduated law school was the Edward Snowden disclosures. And so my boss, who's the founder and director of the center, decided to teach a law school course on electronic surveillance in the Fourth Amendment. He developed the course. He asked one of my colleagues to be uh, his research assistant for that course in something that uh, really I think was a decision of fate for me. My colleague turned down that request. Uh, And so I was the second choice as somebody who could be uh, a teaching assistant for that class. And I'm very glad that I was um, because I just became fascinated with the material And when my boss wanted to develop additional courses and wanted somebody else to teach this national security course, he handed it down to me. Uh, And this was my uh, first opportunity to teach a law course as an adjunct professor. Um, And I really kind of came into my own as, as somebody who could be a real expert in this relatively limited field of the Fourth Amendment uh, as it relates to modern electronic surveillance uh, practices, particularly in the context of national security searches. And it all kind of took off from there. So I'm, I'm always thankful that my colleague um, decided to turn down the opportunity to be a teaching assistant for that class because um, it was one of those sliding door scenarios that led me uh, to where I am now. I sort of wear two hats at my job. Uh, We are an academic center, so we do academic research. Um, It's generally my job to be knowledgeable on these issues. One, because um, I'm the director of public policy, and so we have to comment on a lot of uh, public policy issues, particularly issues that come in front of the Maryland state legislature uh, related to our areas of expertise. So there's the academic side, and then there's the consulting side. So outside agencies have hired us to make use of our expertise. So I am a lawyer involved in both the academic world and the consulting world. And so I'm not somebody who goes in front of a court and litigates. I use my expertise to help clients, mostly government agencies, uh, largely state and local agencies, and to uh, help train the next generation of students on uh, learning about topics related to cybersecurity law and policy. I would say always be open to something new, to a different opportunity that you were not expecting. And I've heard that, you know, this isn't just based on my experience, but a lot of the people I work with, they didn't know they were interested in cybersecurity until they started studying the topic and realized how layered it is and interesting it is and and relevant it is in our modern world. In a field as diverse as cybersecurity, It is really a multidisciplinary subject, and I don't think you can properly understand it without hearing from all of those different disciplines. I 
I understand that in my line of work, I'm not, you know, I'm not an EMT who's going to be saving anybody's life. I'm, but I want to be thought of as somebody who made learning about a very complex subject fun and interesting and accessible. And, you know, somebody who could, in even just my small way, elevate the course of the debate on these very uh, important issues. And I've seen that in talking to former students. You know, they tell me that they've entered government agencies and some of the lessons they took from my cybersecurity courses were things that they were able to apply in their work. And that's very, very rewarding for me. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by Recorded Future. Recorded Future delivers the world's most technically advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries, empower defenders, and protect organizations. Subscribe to Recorded Future's weekly podcast, Inside Security Intelligence, to go inside the world of cyber threat intelligence. Each week, you'll hear stories from the trenches, details on established and emerging adversaries, and insights on the cybersecurity industry. Visit recordedfuture.com slash podcast or wherever you get your podcasts to learn more.